All right, guys, Kettleboy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in an undisclosed location to land far, far away. We're getting ready to test out a couple different pistols, one being the Atlas Hyperion. This is going to be a joint review by myself and the one and only X-Ring. All right, guys, we're sitting out here at the range, and I got one of these things right here. Now, what is this? This is the Atlas Hyperion. This is sent to the channel by my man over there, Mr. Ethan Manning. Manning & Sons. You may recognize his name. I've mentioned it many, many times before. Medigan Sons for that really, really cool firearm that you need. The guy's got a great number of these things. He's got these bad boys in stock. So anyway, what are we talking about? The Atlas Hyperion. Let's talk about a few things. Got adjustable rear sights. We've got a fiber optic front sight, a KKM barrel, 4.6 inches in length. Now the cool thing about this guy versus my Titan that I have, it does have a pick rail all the way out to the top, full length dust cover, sub to pound trigger the keely chili grips which versus the uh phoenix trinities the pts that i have these are a little bit thinner got aluminum grip and aluminum mag well the cool thing about the atlas is the balance of the slide when this thing reciprocates back and forth we got a really cool wind out here when this thing reciprocates back and forth it returns to zero so one of the things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test that theory now the cool thing about it i'm very used to the this platform but what I'm saying it is shorter than my Atlas so it's unique in that one you've got aluminum for I think that's aluminum frame uh, maybe a steel frame with aluminum grip but it's shorter you've got these nice serrations in the front you've got some open areas right here this cutout right here allows for some really cool weight reduction skeletonized hammer big full-size safety for you guys that like that I was uh I was torn at the very beginning because it does lend itself to running into your thumb but when you're coming out in condition one you just keep your thumb on top of that thing and go now it's a lot lighter than my atlas so right behind me we've got some uh what do you call it a little plate rack we're gonna see how well we can run it let's see where we not bad first time shooting this gun uh if you notice the muzzle rise, the recoil, huge mitigation. Now I am running 124 grain. These are my hand loads. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and reset the plate rack. Let's run it one more time to see how it does. All right, hopefully this wind's not bothering you guys too much. But anyway, let's go ahead and run that plate rack one more time. Not bad. I'm digging this thing. Uh, what else can we say about it? Let's talk about it. I'm going to show you what the uh, trigger pull looks like, and then we're going to look at the muzzle flip from a side angle. Here we go. Stand by. All right, so we got our side view right here. As you can see, that skeletonized trigger. Doesn't that look beautiful? That nice red. I think they come in multiple colors, multiple shapes, and you can pretty much get them anywhere you want. Now, one of the things I was talking about was this cutout area right here, as well as the skeletonized, bringing a balance to the slide. So what happens is when this thing reciprocates, it comes back, and then... Wham! You're back on target. Bam! You're back on target. So let's take a look at that. That muzzle flip, muzzle rise is at a minimum. Now, one of the things also I want you to look at is the reset on that trigger. Here we go, let's do that one more time. Okay, so now what I wanna do is show you the reset of the trigger. Here we go. I'll tell you what, I'm really settling in with this firearm. This might be, I don't know, Ethan. Might have to keep this guy. What else can we talk about? Let's do a first person view of shooting it. Stand by. All right, so this is not quite like the good old days of shooting with my camera phone where I could see it, but you know what? Hold on. Shoot. <laughs> I'm just aiming. That's not bad. Isn't that a beautiful firearm? Wow. 
All right, so here's one of the coolest parts. My good friend X-Ring has already sighted this thing in, made some adjustments, boy, and it is on. So we got a dueling tree right there. So let's see how we can do. Here we go. Now, one of the good points that uh, Ray or X-Ring made in his video that he did was he was talking about the uh, last round hold open. Most competition guns don't have a last round hold open. However, with that being said, the uh, MBX magazines, you can get a follower. It, you will have a reduction in your capacity, but you can get a follower that will give it that last round hold open capability. I'm going to tell you something. I'm digging this thing. I, do I like it more than, say, my uh, Atlas? Not sure if I do or not, but here he comes. What? Nothing. Come here. All right, guys, so right here beside me, this is the man, the myth, the legend. You may hear me talking about him all the time. Some say, like I said earlier, his bones are made from 14, no. six, 416? 416. 416. 416. <laughs> Stainless steel. 416 would be the HK that you shot. There it is. That thing right there. Well, anyway, uh, Ray's got his... Uh, I tell you what, let's do this. Dueling let, tree. You let, shoot that, I'll shoot this. <laughs> Fine. There it is. So he's going to shoot. He's going to beat me because Both. that is an awesome pistol. It is an awesome pistol. Do I like it better than my Titan? Uh, give me some time behind both of them. I like them both. I mean, honestly, this, it's, a, it's a good tight firearm, manufactured, just tightest tolerances in the world. Uh, it does need the uh, X-Ring uh what do you call that, the button? X-Ring Mag Release. X-Ring -ma Mag Release. It does MBX. These are the uh, Terran Tactical STIs with the Terran Tactical base plates. They work good. Light gun, and it man it, it works. It, that's all that's got to be said. So, uh, again, one of the things that I'm not used to is the 4.6 versus, like, the 5 point whatever it is mine is. It's a little longer barrel, a little heavier. I do like a heavier gun. A lot of you uh, pansies out there may want this lighter weight one. It, uh, you know, but that's it. That's all I got to say, guys. Stand by. We're gonna have fun. Here we go. All right. You got to get ammo, right? Uh, I'm going hot. Yeah. I said I was going hot. All right. Hot. So what we're gonna do? Uh, X-Ring is getting ready for the Bushnell Elite Sniper Challenge, which is a really big, challenging deal. So it's three days. Three days, 30 miles. 30 miles. Rock. Absolutely. Carry everything. Unbelievable. He's going to be uh, taking uh, young Bryson Allen out there, who is a huge inspiration for me, being a new uh, uh, three-gun shooter, and watching him just, well, it's called spray and pray method. Yeah. Anyway, he does it well. But anyway, you two guys are going to be competing in that thing. Uh, you're going to be using the Trigger Tech Diamond Trigger. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Proof Research Barrel. Yep. Uh, Lancer nice. set up with a Wilcox Raptor. And uh, another thing, this is really good because normally we shoot 2011s. Yep. But because of the weight and our pack weight, we are going to both be shooting Glocks. Yep. So I'm practicing with a Glock. I'm shooting a 34 MOS with uh, an RMR that I put on there. I don't shoot a lot of red dots. Uh, so this will be an interesting comparison. Outstanding. So what the deal is here, we just got done doing the uh, range review on this guy right here. This is the Atlas Hyperion sent to us by Ethan Manning, Manning and Sons. Yeah, great guy. Uh, I'll put the link down below. As a matter of fact, if you look down, he's one of he's like a sponsor of the channel. So anyway, this is an outstanding firearm. But in comparison, what we're going to do is a dueling tree. Uh, X-Ring is going to be shooting the 34 MOS. Right? Yep. And then I'm going to be shooting this thing, and uh, he's going to smoke me, is what's going I to happen. I doubt that very seriously, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I actually, I wish we'd thought about it. I got a timer up in my car, but uh, whatever. Somebody can holler beep. We've got uh, Jeremy over here. He's going to holler beep. We're going to load and make ready. And we've got to go from low ready because uh, we don't have a holster that'll fit that. Okay, so. All right. Is the shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Go. Come on now. My shit won't even bounce over. Brother boy, you won. Big time. Really? You think so? Did he have them all at one time? Yeah. Then you won. Huge. Yeah. Huge. 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 Guys. 
Huge. You don't understand. Even with a good red dot and somebody shooting a Glock, because I used to shoot a Glock for three gun, until I switched to the 2011s, I didn't realize how, realize how much time I was giving up. That being said, that doesn't mean somebody like you know, Bob Vogel or somebody like that can't outshoot you using his Glock. Yeah. But for most people, switching the 2011 platform makes a huge difference. Um, you know, I was doing well in three gun. I was usually finishing in top three. It wasn't until I switched to the 2011 that I actually won nationals. Mm -hmm. And I, th I attribute a lot of that to the pistol work. And the 2011 guys, it is hard to beat. I know it's a lot, a lot of money to swallow paying $5,000 for a pistol like that, but it's well worth it. Yeah, if you're gonna make it uh, a good hobby, uh, you're gonna find yourself moving into this thing and, and like I said I went from shooting a uh, SIG 226 yeah. to the Shadow 2 because that was the trend it was moving on and then I put my hands on the uh, Titan Atlas Atlas Titan and that's all she wrote uh, and then a couple months later I just saved my money and that's the way it happened but anyway let you want to do it again well, yeah, we can, but uh, one of the other things I want to mention, when I first met this great group of guys, Is Your Six Covered, KB32, Rob, Pops Quest, everybody was like, why, why are you going to spend that kind of money on a 2011? But now, I think all of us shoot 2011s, Yeah. and so, some people have multiples, Ooh. two, three, yeah. uh, a couple here, so yeah, it makes a big difference, guys. It's a, it's quite a disgusting uh, habit. It is. And it thank is. you. It's <laughs> a hobby. It's a habit. So anyway, I tell you what. How about we do this? I'm going to hand this firearm over to a, one of the other best shooters in the group. Or you shoot the Glock and I'll shoot that. No. <laughs> How about I get Is Your Six Covered to come forward? I haven't shot that gun. It don't matter. Just doesn't matter. It's like your infinity. The thing will go. All right. And uh, here's your full mag. Let me see some eye pro. You don't want mine. Can't have mine. mine. <laughs> I got to shoot. Oh, you're going to shoot against me? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Holy hell, I can't see nothing. Oh, the sights are nice, but man, those targets are blurry. Stand by. Beep. You don't even have any on your side. Oh. <laughs> Three <laughs> times. <laughs> Three times. All clear. I got luck. All right. So, anyway, guys, uh, great group of people. You have to introduce Jeremy over here. It's Come nice on over pistol. here, Jeremy. Nice pistol. Uh, anyway, we're having a great time out here. I want to wish you guys luck on the uh, Bushnell Elite. Thank you. I, appreciate I know you're going to kick ass and take names. Uh, Rick was at a disadvantage because he had to use my <laughs> phone over here. The si I've never seen the sight so clear in my entire life. <laughs> Couldn't see the target at all. I could not see. It was a big blur. And guys, Jeremy over here, uh, Jeremy and I will actually be running the long range class out here in Old Fort. Mm -hmm. And uh, our first class is February 29th. It's already filled up. And Jeremy has a big background of that. He also owns Atlas Dynamic Defense. So we need to do some, give you, we need to help promote your business. This is cool. a nice pistol. All right, it yeah. is a nice pistol. All right, guys, well, that not, being said. Not the same Atlas as that. <laughs> yeah, different Atlas. Different, different Atlas. Atlas. Different Atlas. All right, is your six cover? X-Ring, Jeremy, Atlas Dyna Dynamic Defense. Dynamic Defense Tactical. Those guys. Def Atlas Dynamic Defense. There you go. So, anyways, thanks for joining us. I thought it would be fun to have a little video like this while we were doing a review. And out here, <laughs> a beautiful day in North Carolina. We always end it like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Dakota Boy 32 and the gang. Check it out. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah, it's <just> discovered. <laughs>